string of light have you ever wondered why the sky looks blue or why does the sky get red during the sunrise and the sunset it is not because of reflection or refraction or dispersion but it is because of scattering of light scattering of light is the phenomenon by which a beam of light is redirected to many different direction when it interacts with a particle of matter in order to understand scattering of light let's perform an experiment here in two glasses we have taken sugar solution and clear water a laser torch that gives red color is shined through the solutions you can confirm that the laser light has passed through both of the solutions as you can see its image or you can see that light on the screen kept behind the glass of water now let's add milk to the second glass that is milk to water and observe what happens yes you can observe that in the glass that contains milk solution that is milk added to water the path of light the path of the laser light is visible you can see a beam of light passing through the solution why do you think you see the path of the light in the second glass but not in the first one that is in sugar solution the reason behind this phenomenon is scattering of light so when milk is added to water the milk particles get completely distributed throughout the medium and when the light ray strikes one of the milk particle it gets scattered to different directions since a milk particle is tiny in nature the reflection occurs to all direction and this reflection that is happening to different direction is known as scattering now some of the scattered light also reaches to our eye and we see that milk particle glowing as red now some of the light goes unreflected and it strikes the next milk particle the same phenomenon happen in the next milk particle also and it this continues so what happens is that you see a collection of particles that are glowing red in color since these particles are so tiny in nature we perceive it as a beam of light so that is why the light path is visible to us now you may have a question then why don't we see this path of light in sugar solution the fact is that the particles in sugar solution also scatter light but since they are extremely small in nature the amount of light scattered by the particles of sugar solution is very less that it can be neglected so in order for light to get scattered the particle should be bigger in size if the particles are too big in size like if you mix mud with water the particles of mud being bigger easily settles down at the bottom of the container and hence scattering may again not be visible to that extent in case of solutions that contain very big particles also now milk comes under the category of colloid that is where the particles are regularly suspended throughout the solution so scattering of light can be seen very prominently in a colloidal solutions whereas solutions and suspensions do not show scattering that much the path of sun's rays are not visible to us in an open area but when a beam of sunlight enters a dusty room through a window then its path become visible to us let us understand why it happens this is because the tiny dust particles present in the air of the room scatter the beam of light all around the room and when the scattered light enter our eyes we can see the beam of light here the dust particles act as colloidal particles the phenomenon where light is scattered by colloidal particles is called tyndall effect a similar observation is seen when light beam from the headlight of an automobile comes through the fog and mist the fog particles become visible due to tyndall effect tyndall effect can also be observed when sunlight passes through the canopy of a dense forest here tiny water droplets in the mist scatter the sunlight this phenomenon is named as tyndall effect because it was first observed by john tyndall in the year 1869 we know that white light is a mix of seven colors and all these lights have different wavelength the red 
have the maximum wavelength in nanometers and the blue and violet shades have shorter wavelength and hence it is scattered more easily in fact blue light present in sunlight is scattered 10 times more than the red light this shows that the color of the scattered light depends on the size of the scattering particles very fine minute particles scatter mainly the blue light that is shorter wavelength of light whereas large size particles scatter longer wavelength of light that is mainly red color whereas very large sized particles scatter all colors equally this shows that scattering of light decreases when the wavelength increases a british physicist lord rayleigh gave a scattering law according to which amount of scattered light from fine scattering particles is inversely proportional to the fourth power of the wavelength of light in order to understand why the color of the clear sky is blue or the color of the sky is red at sunrise and sunset, let's perform an activity. In this activity, about 200 gram of sodium thiosulfate is mixed in 2 liter of clean water. To this add 1 to 2 milliliter of concentrated sulfuric acid. You find that fine microscopic sulfur particles begin to precipitate in about 2 to 3 minutes. As the sulfur particles begin to form, you observe that the blue light from three sides of the glass tank. This is because of scattering of the short wavelength by minute colloidal sulfur particles. If you observe on the screen, a bright crimson red image of the hole is obtained. This is because red color being maximum wavelength is scattered at least and hence the transmitted light is prominently of red color. Now let's understand why the color of clear sky is blue. The air molecules and other fine particles in the atmosphere have size smaller than the wavelength of the visible light. So when sunlight that is white light enters into the atmosphere, these molecules and the fine particles prominently scatter blue-violet light of shorter wavelength. Red-orange colored light of longer wavelength is scattered the least. The scattered blue light enters our eyes and we see the clear sky to be blue. If one looks at the sky from the spaceship, the sky appears to be dark as there is no scattering of light due to the lack of atmosphere. Similarly, sky also appears dark to the passengers flying at a very high altitude as scattering is not prominent in such heights. Whereas, when the white light strikes a cloud, which is made up of larger water droplets, all colors of light get scattered in equal amount. And that is why we see clouds as white in color. Usually the sun appears to be yellowish white, but at the time of sunrise and sunset, it appears to be reddish. During the sunrise and sunset, the sun is near the horizon and the light rays from the sun have to pass through a larger distance in the atmosphere. Light of shorter wavelength is mostly scattered during this passage and only the least scattered that is the red light of longer wavelength reaches the observer's eyes. As a result, the rising sun or setting sun appears to be reddish. However, at noon, when the sun is overhead, light from the sun travels relatively shorter distance. As a result, only a little of the blue and violet colors are scattered and the sun appears white. Danger signal lights are usually of red color. Being of maximum wavelength in the visible region, red light is least scattered by fog or smoke. Therefore, red colored signal can be easily seen even from a larger distance. Even at the top of all high-rise buildings, red light signals are fixed. So let's recap what we learned today. We understood that the path of light is clearly visible due to scattering of light. And when colloidal particles scatter light, it is known as Tyndall effect. Scattering explains some of the wonderful phenomena in nature like white color of the clouds, blue color of sky or oceans, reddening of the sky during sunrise or sunset, etc. We also understood why danger signals are of red color. In the atmosphere, sun's light gets scattered due to the minute particles present in it. And the scattering of light depends on the wavelength of the light. Smaller particles scatter blue light that is of shorter wavelength and larger particles scatter longer wavelength of light. Hope you have understood the concept of scattering and its daily life applications. If you like the video, like and share the video among your friends and family. Subscribe the channel for more contents of class 8, 9, 10 science.